Daddy, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for Miss Adams to send for us. Oh, will it be very long? No, not very long. Maybe a couple of hours. Oh. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. Close your eyes. Hold out your hand. Oh! Now, don't swallow it all at once. <laughs> don't I get a kiss? Yes. <laughs> Here. You sit right there. Daddy's going to telephone. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Young lady, what are you doing? I'm with my daddy. Where is your daddy? In Miss Adams' office. In Miss Adams' office? Well, I guess we'd better go find him. Here, now be careful to get your feet in the stirrups. That's right. Now take hold of the reins, and away we'll go for brisk canter. Come on. Come on there now. How's that? Whoa. <laughs> I like you. And I like you. I thought you said your father was going to come up and meet you here in my office. Well, I wonder where he is. Downstairs. Oh. What did you say his name was again? Mr. James Dugan. Mr. James Dugan. That's a nice name. Well, do you suppose if I telephoned downstairs, he'd come up here? Yes, I think so. All right, I'll do that. I'm afraid, Mr. Dugan, that I can't help you as much as I'd like to. You see, Secretary Cromwell has made it a strict rule. Oh, come on. Isn't there some way I can get in to see him? Maybe you could ask him. I'm sorry, but I really wouldn't want to bother him. He has so much on his mind. Bother? Why, that wouldn't bother him. He'd thank you for bringing me in. I'm Jimmy Dugan. Everybody knows Jimmy Dugan. Excuse me. Uh, this lineup is all right, just as it stands, Miss Adams. Yes, Mr. Cromwell. Thank you. Well, well. <laughs> now, who is this young lady? Shirley Dugan. Shirley Dugan? Well, how do you do, Miss Dugan? My name is Cromwell. How do you do, Mr. Cromwell? <laughs> My daddy wants to see you. Yeah, it's about me and Shirley. That is uh, our act. Oh, yes. Well, I'm sorry, but you'll have to go through the usual channels, Mr. Dugan. Oh, I don't need work. I'm booked solid for 40 weeks. You heard about my act. Ten minutes of songs and dancing to knock some coal. It's about Shirley. Yes, well, that's in Miss Adams' department. No, it's about that new rule you made that a kid under seven can't work in an act. Oh, yes. Well, we had to make that ruling to comply with the laws of the various states. But Shirley doesn't really work in the act. She just sort of comes on at the finish, and, and she loves it. You see, it's this way, Mr. Cromwell. Me and the missus had an act together. Shirley was born, and we brought her up in the top of a trunk. Everything was going swell. And then Mrs. Dugan passed away. Since then, Shirley and me have been going it alone. Well, don't you think she needs a woman's care? Huh. I couldn't leave her with anybody else. Besides, I gotta have her in the act with me. She helps me over the rough spots, helps me build to a finish like the missus did. And look at her, Mr. Cromwell, she thrives on it. I gotta have her with me. How's chances? How's chances? I think chances are great. Come here. Thank <laughs> you. 